Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and uh, welcome back to another episode of the tutorials. In the last episode, we went over the common events area, and I kind of showed you how to do uh, some a couple of things. So now we're going over the systems area. So this is where your initial party is. This is what your this is who you start as. Like um, th these are the party members that you start with. In order to change them, you can double click on an empty space, or you can right click right underneath an empty right underneath one of the names and you click edit or click it and press enter left click and then click press enter you can add characters to, to your party if you want um, or you can right click and delete or click and press del on keyboard to where you start with no characters and you're able to have a cutscene without a character in there or you can just click this over here I'll explain that in a second the game title is what will show up when you uh, select draw game title it's what shows up during the title screen. Uh, the currency unit. This is what your your uh, your money symbol is. For example, Final Fantasy has Gil. Uh, Mega Man Legends has Zenny. And stuff like that. These are your the vehicle graphics. Uh, if you want a boat to look like this, you can do that. That 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 that. You can also change them, I believe, with events. Yeah, boats, ship, and airship. You can have a hot air balloon. There's so many powerful things you can do with RPG Maker. Um. So over here we have initialize MIDI at startup. In, okay, initializes direct MIDI at startup. We'll take some time with OSs from Vista and later if this is enabled. Transparent, that allows you to start uh, with a completely invisible character. So that, you know, if you want to make a cutscene at the very beginning and you don't ha want to delete all these characters, just select this and you have to turn it off later on through events. Um, okay, show player followers. This is if you want the 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 little caterpillar system where you have like a bunch of characters following you as you walk. Uh, check that or uncheck it. You can also you can also toggle it during uh, the events. KO by slip damage um, allows HP to be reduced by, uh, reduced to zero. The status element damage, including poison, when in, when disabled, damage stops at 1 HP. The same thing with floor damage. And uh, display TP in battle. TP is... I don't know what it actually stands for, but it's your... Uh, it's almost like MP, but it, you gain as you fight, and then once it's like a certain amount, you can use a certain skill, but then that skill drains it, but as you fight, it uh, increases more. Yeah. Reserve members EXP. If there are more than uh, four characters in the party, this setting allows members that did not participate in battle to share the uh, ah, yeah to share the resulting XP so if you want uh, characters that have not fought and that are in like if there's more than four yeah I didn't know that. here's where you can whoa what uh, mm, mm, all right I'll just keep it normal so here's where you can change the music of everything. That's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not really going to go too far into that. Just click this little uh, dot dot thing to change whatever, whichever one you want. And here's where you can change the sound effects. Again, that's also pretty self-explanatory, but the cursor sound is what, uh, like when you press up and down when you're selecting from a, a menu thing. The, the OK is when you press Enter on an item selection or a choice and stuff like that. Cancel is when you go back. Buzzer is when you can't select an item and stuff like that, and an item that's unselectable. Um, equip is whatever sound that plays when you equip. The save, save and load sounds. Uh, battle start is you know how like when when the battle transition begins, that's when the battle start is. I was like waving my fingers like the spirit fingers, swag man. <laughs> no, um. Anyway, so that's when the battle start. The sound. You're, you'll hear it and you'll recognize it probably yeah so yeah that's how you change the battle start sound escape sound is when you escape from a battle enemy attack is when the enemy attacks enemy damage is when the enemy gets damaged enemy class was when the enemy is defeated boss class is when a boss is defeated boss class 2 is when a boss collapsed 2 is yeah boss is defeated again um <clears throat> Alright, actor damage uh, is when you get hit. Actor class is when you get destroyed or defeated. Um, recovery is when you use a recovery item and heal and stuff like that. Yeah. 
when restoring HP. I like how they have um, hints and everything to tell you. So if you if you got miss, evasion, uh, magic evasion, reflection, shop, when you buy stuff, stuff. Use items when you use an item, and use skills when you use a skill. Uh, if you're confused on any of these, just hover over it and it'll tell you a little thing. This is your starting map. You can either change it here, or you can go on the map, go to event layer, and then right click. Mm, yeah. And uh, go to uh, set starting and you do. Anyway, so you can also uh, set the boats, but you can also do all this by right-clicking. This is the player starting position. Position. Yeah. Um, all right. Here's where you can change the title screen graphics, which is kind of cool because like you can just kind of combine whatever you, you want, and uh, it just looks kind of cool. So with that, I do believe this covers <laughs> this episode. It's only been six minutes, but hey. I, uh, all right. So I thank you guys for watching. And um, in the next episode, we'll be going over the terms. Yeah. All right. So I will see you guys uh, later on. Thank you all for watching.